Hey guys, so today I'm coming to you from Washington's Crossing Historic Park where they're doing their autumn market and encampment event. Just wanted to take a little video to show you. You can hear the drum and fife corps in the background. It's blacksmith demonstrations, food demonstrations, colonial reenactors, um, and it's all where Washington's Crossing uh, the Delaware in 1776. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you do like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for more Bucks County news and events. Thanks. It's held in by friction. I've used it so much, I think I've worn the whole while. So now the peg is sharpened. And now this can fit into, I want to show, this is the very last piece of the, of our armor. You built the boat sort of around that. That's why the, but the dimensions are always around six to one. These are about 40, 46 foot by 8 foot. But, uh, but these were the, they had about 25 of these in the river at the time, probably around 8 or 10 during the crossing. You know where your bag is? Like this thing? So everything was expensive here, but we actually had the highest standard of living in the world. Oh, absolutely. At that time. We don't have that now, but we had that at the time of the Revolutionary War. We and also, probably the highest literary, literacy yes, we yes, rate. Very we, had, literacy rate. we did. We had the highest literacy rate in the world, uh, especially for white males. Okay, so because you have to think about who emigrated here at the time. So you had the Welsh, you had the Germans, you had the Puritans, you had the Quakers. It's a very high education based. Which bird think you want to attack? Right, because it is the greatest threat. So we have the highest amount of loss percentage-wise. So, anybody ready to join? <laughs> we we do we are we are a bit uppity. We consider ourselves a notch above the rest. We're a special unit, so you know we dress a little cleaner than the average soldier. And yeah, we were a bit arrogant, like a but okay. we are doing it. <laughs> so, um, question about um, artillery, the cannon. 
Yes, they can go from one pounder, and you normally judge cannons by the weight of the cannon. One pounder, three pounder, six pounder, um, eight pounder. 